welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. On the menu today, we're gonna to make some delicious pasta with chicken and eggplant, as you can see. It is divine. Let's get on with it. Okay, let's get started here. So I've got seven of these chicken thighs. The bone is in, the skin is off. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get some salt, some black pepper, like a teaspoon of thyme, a tablespoon of garlic, olive oil. And as you can see, I've got my gloves on. We're just gonna get in there, give that a nice little mix. If you want, stick that in the refrigerator for an hour or so. I don't have any time today. We're gonna to go straight to the cooker and start getting these beautiful little chicken thighs, dark meat together. So dry pan, heat's on, nice medium. Don't want it too high, nice medium heat. We're gonna put these chicken thighs in. You wanna cook them quite gently, don't go crazy with these. If there's any stuff in the bowl, just tip it in. We're gonna go for about four minutes, five minutes a side. I'll be flipping them every 40, 50 seconds. Okay, off goes the heat. Nice and gentle, get them out. If you don't think they're cooked all the way through, don't worry at this stage, because we're gonna be cooking them. In fact, look, there's a little bit of pink there. Don't worry, we're gonna be cooking these more a bit later in the sauce. Out these come. Let's take a look at a few other bits. Don't throw that away. Okay, so I've got one eggplant here. Just cut a little tiny bit off the bottom and took the top off, da da da. Here we go. Cut that into four nice thick slices. Let's get back to that cooker. So we're back here with those lovely juices and spices and flavors from the chicken. Just gonna add a little bit more olive oil. The heat's on. It's a little bit higher this time, above medium. Let's get those in, nice thick slices. We're gonna go like three or four minutes on each side. Okay, look, there's our eggplant, beautiful. Chicken's done, eggplant's done. Right, here we go, one can of tomatoes, some white fresh mushrooms. There's only like two decent sized mushrooms there. One dried red chili. One onion chopped, half a bell pepper, tablespoon of garlic, two teaspoons of oregano, a little bit of chopped celery. We're gonna go back into that same pan again. Okay, so if you need to add any more oil, you should put some in. I've got enough in here. Now that blackening in there, absolutely beautiful. Let's start off by dropping in that onion, the celery, Let's pop in that one red chili. Use some chili flakes or chili powder if you want, if you don't have a whole one. We're on a medium heat. I see in about three to four minutes. Beautiful stuff. At this point, we're gonna drop in the garlic, the dried oregano, or oregano and we're gonna go for two more minutes keep it moving now all the time a 
Fabulous stuff. Let's chop in those mushrooms. Like I say, just a couple of mushrooms and the bell peppers. You can cut them smaller if you want. You can see how I've done those just in rounds. Again, three minutes, keep it moving. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. Beautiful. Next up, we're gonna add in that one can of plum tomatoes. And what I've done with those tomatoes, I just roughly crushed them in my hand. I'm gonna add just a little touch of water. If you wanted, you could be adding some chicken stock there, or maybe a little glass of red or white wine. Water works just fine for me. Stay on this medium heat, let it go for about four, yeah, just four minutes now, that'd be good. Give it a stir every now and then. Salt, black pepper. Now we're gonna be dropping back in the chicken. Any juices left over, drop that in as well. Turn the heat to a simmer now. And let this go for six minutes. Every now and then, flip the chicken over. Wow. Okay, off goes the heat there. That is delicious. Okay, so what I've just done is I've taken the chicken out. What we're gonna do now is get some cooked pasta, any pasta you want. I'm using this small little ears. The heat is on high. Three or four minutes using this wonderful sauce to get the sauce in, on and around and heat up the pasta because my pasta is actually cold. I'll see you at the table. And there you go, served up. So as you can see, the chicken's on the side, beautiful. Put that eggplant down the center and our lovely pasta just there. Absolutely wonderful, I hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment and say hi. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.